Don't place a trade based on what you'll see in this video because there is no guarantees of making a profit in the market. It takes you a long time to become a good trader. So this video here is just to educate you to become a much better trader. Hey traders, John Howell here. And uh, in today's video, I'm gonna be doing just a bit of a market update across all the markets. Uh, Dow Jones, S&P 500, the NASDAQ. Also be looking at the transportation average as well too. Going through the mining stocks, the GDX, GDXJ, Silver, Gold, SIL, SILJ. Um, and uh, I'll be looking at also Bitcoin as well too in today's video. And possibly some other things that may pop up from when I'm looking at these markets. Guys, just a little um, thing before I do start, guys. A uh, little of a... A lot of people, uh, when they approach these markets, it's really interesting because um, uh, I have my sort of my, my view on the markets. Okay, now economically wise and so on and so forth. Yeah, I think we're going through. You know, it's it's a very 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 high probability that we're going to go through uh, a double dip towards the end of this year, right? We know that, right? Nothing is coming back to normal as quick as we think it is. I think twenty twenty one is going to be a very very bad year economically wise. Um, that's just my thoughts. I may be wrong. I may be right, but that doesn't matter. Okay What I am is that and what you should be if you are trading the markets mean you're actively getting in and getting out You're in today. You're out tomorrow you're in today. You hold for a few days. You're out in out in out You cannot be bullish or bearish Right, you need to be a trader of that markets now Why do I say that is because just because the Dow Jones is doing something right now um, does not equate to the individual stocks. Okay, so you need to be a unbiased trader and trade the individual chart based on what you see. You know what I'm saying? So um, try to come to the markets with that unbiased view and say, okay, I'm only I'm, I'm not entering the markets because I think the market's bullish or bearish. I'm entering the markets because I have a system that I follow, and this system says I'm getting in right now. And that's the way that you should be approaching these markets. And then and then you have your stop losses and you know your profit targets and all that sort of stuff. And then you just go with that, okay? So don't be a bull or bear, be neutral. Say, okay, I'm neutral. And my job is not to think about it. No, my job is not try to be right with the markets. My job is just, okay, well, I'm just waiting for my setup that I believe in. And then I'm gonna go with that, okay? So when I'm doing my analysis through here, guys, and people say, oh, John's bearish in the markets, but he's taking bullish trades. Guys, just because I have a view on the economy right now, and I say over the next next couple of years, we're going to see a very big downturn. We just started to see the downturn, I believe. Um, and what we're seeing right now is just a bit of, bit of a rally. Um, just because I say that does not mean I'm not going to take bullish trades. That just doesn't make sense, right? I have a system that I follow. And so I follow that system no matter what. And so if my system says, here's a long signal, then I'm going to take it. Just because the Dow Jones goes down tomorrow, if the Dow Jones goes down tomorrow or goes up tomorrow, does not equate to all the stocks, right? Just because the NASDAQ is at all-time new highs right now does not mean all stocks are all, uh, uh, in the NASDAQ are at all-time new highs. Make sense, guys? So um, if you take that view, if you say, okay, I'm bullish the Dow Jones right now, so therefore I'm gonna take bullish trades, you are doing it all wrong because now you're thinking that you know what's gonna happen tomorrow, which no one does, and now you're throwing the odds out the window within your system. The odds are that if you have a system, say 70% of the time it's gonna make a profit, well, your job is no matter what the indices are saying, that you actually follow through and you take the trades based on whatever system you follow, okay? Now, if you don't, if you don't have anything you're following, you're gonna lose your money, so stop trading. Um, until you find something that you're just gonna follow, that's the big key through there. With that being moving said, guys, let me have a look at the indices right now, what's going on right now with the Dow Jones and so on and so forth. So right now what's happened is that we went through this very long, we went through a bit of a, a month monthly sort of sideways phase through here. And now we've actually started the break up. Okay, we started the break up, we went up, and you could see how we actually had uh, this level through here. Uh, I started to get I started to get a little bit bearish around this level right here when we started to break down through here. I thought, you know what, we're starting to break this low through here, we actually probably could see a bit more downside. And as soon as it popped back up through here, I was no longer bearish this market. Why? 
because it was no longer making a lower low, so I couldn't be bearish this market. And that's another thing with you guys, okay? If you're bearish, if you're looking at the daily chart right now and the chart to start to show some bearish signs right now, and then suddenly a couple of days later, it flips back to the upside and we're starting to get now bullish signs, you have to flow with the market. Just because I say something, you know, uh, what I said two weeks ago does not equate to what happens today. Makes sense? And you need to flow with the markets, okay? And and if you don't, you, oh, I'm right, you're wrong and all that sort of stuff. You're going to get your head handed to you because, you know, that's just the way it works. So as you can see, then it started to break out of this level through here, came up and we slowly crawled up to where we are today. And now we're just sort of just going sideways. We had a little pop up last week and then now we're just going sideways. We've got the announcement coming out uh, soon. Uh, tomorrow, actually, I think it is. Yeah, tomorrow. Um, and so it's going to be really interesting to see what actually happens here. We're definitely in a big bull move. So um, even if we do get a bit of an upside, we're, we're probably likely to get down towards this trend line through here. Now, I am going to be interested to see what actually happens here with this gap here. Does it get filled or do we, or do we not do it or do we not feel it? Um, because if we don't get, if, if this is a bit of a, what we call, um, if we, if we gapped up through here, okay. Um, what this could be, and it's not yet, it's not that right now, but sometimes what you get in the markets, right? The market will run up, it'll gap up. It won't do much, right? And then it'll get back down and do that. If we get that here, maybe we get that tomorrow. And then, 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 and then maybe the next day or something like that, we start to get a bit of a gap down or something like that, like, like that. And you can see how this gap, there was this gap through here. More times than not, that's a bit of a topping pattern on the daily chart. Okay. A bit of a topping pattern on the daily chart. Now I'm not saying it's going to be a topping pattern. I have no idea what's going to happen tomorrow guys, but by looking at this here, is that even if we do get a bit of a pullback, we're in this very big bull move right now and trying to go against it would be very risky. But on the flip side of that, guys, right now, we have just been in a very, very, very nice move to the upside. So uh, I wouldn't want to be shorting it right now and I wouldn't want to be going long right now. And people are probably saying, oh, John, thanks for the help. It's like, but don't go long or short based on a YouTube video. Go long or short based on the system you follow. If you don't have that pumpkin, Okay, um, then that's where you need to follow there. If you want to be, if you actually want to succeed in the markets, if you don't and you want to keep guessing and gambling, and uh, and losing more than you win and all that sort of stuff, then just keep keep taking trades based on a YouTube video because because you know you're trying to make money really really quickly. Um, and I just see so many people doing that. Okay, um, same for the S and P five hundred. Bit of a gap up. We are definitely in a very big look at this here. Very big bull move through here. We actually had a bit of a very big sort of upward movement through here as you can see we had this sort of resistance level all through here and as soon as we actually gapped up we see what we see you can see how we actually started to slowly crawl to the upside so um a very 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 nice sort of movement to the upside guys as you can see finding support here rallying up we actually went sideways for about what was that there for about 23 days a month and came back down and now we're rallying back to the upside right now so as you can see so that's what I'm seeing there right now, guys. Um, we're still we're still making a very big move. So even if we did get a bit of a pullback, we're in a big bull market through here, guys, and nothing's changing on the short term. There's no bearishness here at all. Um, so even if we did get a bit of a pullback, um, the, the, the bulls are in control right now. And the NASDAQ as well too, same for the NASDAQ, right? Just pretty much vertical straight up when it comes to that there. But that being said, that, that being said, guys, we've been doing this for quite some time, so I wouldn't be too quite surprised if I go to my weekly charts through here, look how look how vertical this move has been on the NASDAQ. So just like all the other indices, just like the GDX and so on and so forth, you'll see in a minute, that I wouldn't be too quite surprised, guys, that we're going to start to see a bit of bit of a pullback here soon, especially out of the NASDAQ. Um, you know, and just because and if we do get a pullback, it's probably likely to be short lived. Um, so it'd be really interesting to see what actually happens here. Uh, overall, but we just need we just need to follow along with what the market's telling us, guys. Big V bottom here, uh, out of the Nasdaq. So if we do get a bit of a bit of a dip here, um, it's probably, once again, it's probably likely to be short lived through there. So that's what I'm seeing uh, through there, guys. Uh, Nasdaq. Let's go have a look at the transportation average. So the transportation average has been uh, on on a short term basis here. Let's go to the three month view. On a short term basis, we can see how we actually had a bit of a move up. We can see we had a bit of a gap up, and now we're actually pulling back a little bit. We didn't get that sort of island reversal where it gapped up sideways and a gap down. 
Um, we didn't get that, so uh, so, it's, so it's really interesting to see what's happened here. If you can see what, what's going on here, we can see that we actually had this first gap here, which is a breakaway gap, second gap here, continuation gap, and third gap here, which is an exhaustion gap. So exhaustion gap tells me that we're probably likely to see a bit of a move to the downside. If I go and have a look at, say, my weekly charts here, I can see also that at the weekly chart level on the transports, you can see how we're right at that resistance level there right now. All this resist, all this support levels back here, support, support around this level is where we're at right now. So if I go back to my daily charts, you can see that we had a bit of an exhaustion gap right out there. So I wouldn't be too surprised to actually see a bit of a backing pattern right now or a bit of a pullback uh, out of the transport since it's actually done this through here. So uh, once again, guys, really, really, really interesting stuff that I'm seeing through there when it comes to uh, when it comes to that. Now moving on now through to, we'll, go, we'll, we'll, go, we'll start with silver and gold. Let's start with gold first. So uh, over the last sort of a uh, couple of, uh, sort of couple of sort of weeks, I've been starting to be bearish gold because we actually broke out of this level through here. We are starting to rally back up level, back up through here, guys. So this bearishness could be very, very, very short lived. Um, and uh, and so, yeah, so it could be very short lived. We're actually still, we're breaking back up, uh, uh, back up, back up, back uh, back up uh, below this trend line through here. So if we do get back above these levels all through here, guys, then it could be very, very short lived, you know? And what we're also seeing here is really just a very good overall sideways market through here, as you can see, right? Very just overall sideways through here, finding support level through here, support level just going sideways. And just like the GDX and so on and so forth, this is what's happening on the daily charts. But if I have a look at this weekly chart, this weekly chart is in a very big bull market and we're just going sideways through here. So even if we did get a bit of a pullback out of gold through here, it's probably likely to be, it's probably likely to be short lived anyway. Um, just due to the fact that this big bull market happening with, uh, with, um, the uh, with, with gold through here, and we can see that there's a very big long term trend line coming in the play as well, too. So, probably somewhere around about there. So, if I bring up my daily charts, you can see that there's that long term trend line is coming in the play through there. So, um, you know, I was starting to get a bit bearish right now, guys, but we're definitely holding through here. Uh, we're not really doing much, we're not breaking down, we're not breaking up. And the longer it holds through here, the more probability we're likely to break to the upside. Now, I have been bearish, but the market is not flowing through so i need to reassess and see what the market's telling me and then i need to adjust all right um once again guys the market is like a woman you need to flow with it okay just 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 flow with it if she's acting like a little little bit of a tiffy tiffy just flow with it it's all right um so we can see what's happening through here but and as you can see this very big long-term support line through through here bit of a false breakout rally to the upside now we're getting a lot of sort of sideways movement through here aren't we on this month on this uh, weekly charts now. So if we do get a bit of a breakup, tell you what guys, we're, we're probably getting ready for, for all time new highs if um, on gold through there. Moving on through to silver. Silver is still compressing up uh, through, let me just draw a little through here. Right, silver is compressing up now still uh, through this sort of triangle pattern through here. We've got this very big sort of, uh, sort of, we had a nice move up through here. Very nice sideways phase through here, as you can see, very nice sideways phase through here. Um, and then sideways came down, found support, and then we had a little run up, nice sideways. Look at compressing up into this triangle pattern through here. Um, now this triangle pattern is based on this weekly chart, as you can see. So silver could be getting ready for a very, very, very nice move to the upside. I originally did have a target of 18.50, as you guys know, um, and it hit there, and now we're, now, we're, now we're bouncing off here. And once again, guys, um, I still believe, and like I've said for many months now, that this low back here in in twelve fifty, twelve dollars fifty, like I've been saying for the last few months, I believe that's the low for many years to come when it comes to silver. There. Moving on through to through to the GDXJ and the GDX the GDX should I say the GDX is not really doing much right now. Okay, we're having a little bit of a pullback through here, but we're not getting any any strong sellers. Okay, I thought we would have got a bit more of a strong selling formation through here. But like gold, any any movement on the downside is probably likely to be short-lived anyway. And the reason why, once again, is look at this big bull market on this weekly is weekly charts, okay? We've got a very big bull market. We're getting that pullback right now that I've been talking about. 
okay? And you can see this pullback here has been close to about 16% now. So even if we did get a bit more of a pullback here, that weekly chart is likely to kick in and go to the upside. So I have been slightly, I've been slightly, I've been bearish on a short-term basis here on GDX. But long term, I'm very bullish because that weekly chart has made a new higher high. Very high probability we're likely to find a higher low here soon, even if we did continue down a little bit more. Um, and then we see a move to the upside. Moving on through to, through to the GDXJ as well too. The GDXJ is doing this as well too right now, guys. So we had a bit of a slow move up. We can see how we're just sort of just slowing down through here. Not really much going on. Once again, even if we did get a bit of a pullback through here when it comes to the GDX, um, that weekly chart there, once again, if we did get a bit of a pullback, that weekly chart is probably likely to form some sort of a higher low and we're likely to rally up out of this level through here. I don't see this thing coming all the way back down towards the 20 level. We just have to, um, I just, once again, I just, same as, same as the GDX level through there. So that's what I'm seeing through there, guys. Uh, once again, even if we do get, let me go back to the daily chart, even if we do get a bit of a drop to the downside out of this level through here, um, it's probably likely to be short-lived when it comes to that there. Um, also, also, let's go have a look at SILJ. SILJ has been uh, sort of, once again, in a very nice upward movement, right? Nice little support level back here, nice little support level back here, sideways, little break, little breakout, one, two, nice move, very, very nice move, had a sideways movement. Now we're just sort of going sideways through here. But like the other indices as well, guys, look at that weekly chart level through there. Even if we did start to see a bit of a pullback level through here, <clears throat> excuse me, we've got this major resistance level up through here, guys. So even if we did get a bit of a pullback, I believe that we'll, that this this is a massive V bottom, which it is. And so I believe if we did get a pullback long term, we're probably likely to see a lot more upside to come out of SIL. So in short term, guys, we're still compressing up into this triangle pattern or this this press the triangle pattern through here. So if we hold through here and then break out of 1250 on SILJ, could be really, really, really bullish for that. It was same for the SIL as well too. Nice sideways face through here. But all, like all the other mining stocks as well too, guys, even if we did get a bit of a pullback and we do get more of a pullback, um, I, I don't know what's going to happen there. Um, but even if we do get a bit of a pullback, long term, guys, I wouldn't want to be, if we are short the SIL and the market does, I wouldn't want to be short for long term. You should be in and out very, very short term. That's just my general recommendation. And the reason why, because there's a very high probability this weekly chart is going to kick back in and kick back in fast and start to, start to send this thing back to the upside. Um, and so that's what I'm seeing through there, guys. Uh, when it comes to the SIL as well, too, let's go have a look at the Bitcoin. Uh, this is the uh, Bitcoin chart right now. We're seeing Bitcoin pretty much not doing much uh, through here right now. We had a bit of a move to the upside, really holding here, compressing here uh, strongly. We do have major resistance level or major support level around that sort of 10,040 level there. Um, we're not really doing much through here on that uh, on that uh, daily chart, but on the weekly chart, once again, we are sort of just running up, and now we're doing a bit of time through here, which we're just one, two, three, four, five, six. Now this is almost a month and a half of going sideways, really not not doing much, um, and so that tells me, guys, we're now probably ready to, to have a nice move back to the upside level through here, especially looking at what's happening through here. So. Uh, Really interesting stuff. What's actually going on here when it comes to when it comes to Bitcoin? Um, and again, I do see further upside coming out of Bitcoin as well. So that's what I see there, guys. Uh, overall, guys, here's my a general analysis of what I see in the markets. But as I said at the start of the video, guys, just make sure that when you're entering the markets, so that you're entering based on a system. You know, based on okay, here's the pattern, here's the entry bar. You know, this is what I'm going to take, and then the next trade I take is going to be very. It's going to be almost identical to this one. And the next trade, you know, that, that's, that's, that's how you get ahead in the markets long term. If you're just say, oh, well, John says, you know, long term SIL is looking really good or GDX is really good. So I'm going to go buy some call options right now. Guys, that's not that if you actually want to make a full time income from trading, then, you know, if you want to make a full time income, if you want to make consistent long term results and consistent long term profits, then you must be consistent.
Hey traders, John Hal here. Thanks for watching my video. For a limited time only, I am giving away free access to my brand new trading course. I've put all my most powerful systems, strategies, and trading techniques that I've learned over the last 15 years and put it in this course and I'm giving it away for free for a limited time. See, in this brand new Go to the Markets by the Balls trading course, and you can get it when you go to johnsfreegift.com, you're gonna learn, firstly, you're gonna get access to a brand new training course for 90 minutes and you're gonna learn all the details step-by-step to my number one trading system with over a 90% success rate that works on any market and any time frame. You're also gonna learn three powerful chart reading and trading techniques. You're also gonna learn our two more powerful trading systems and also you're gonna learn seven figure trading secrets, mindset techniques, and so much more. There's top 13 mistakes you're gonna learn, the 10K per month formula, and so much more. No, this is not a get rich quick scheme, but if you are struggling with your trading right now and you need help, then for a limited time, you can get free access to this. So. Go to johnsfreegift.com right now or click on the very first thing in the description because for a limited time, I'm giving away. So go to johnsfreegift.com right now and start getting access to this full complete trading course plus also the free trading with my number one trading system with over 90% success rate. Go to that right now and I'll see you on the next page.